Hey guys, I'm Disney Dad and today in this video I want to cover the top 9 things that you need to know that Disney World has changed due to COVID. Glad you guys stopped by today and if you love getting tip videos and Disney news videos just like this one, consider subscribing down below to get all my future magic. Starting with number one on my list and that is that all reservations are required through the online reservation system for Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. To enter one of the theme parks, everyone three and older must buy a ticket and make a reservation for the day they want to visit the park through the Disney Park Reservation System. If you have a multi-day ticket, you'll be required to make a park reservation for each date you want to visit. Moving along, and this kind of goes with the last one, and that you can only visit one park per day until January. Starting January 1st, 2021, guests with the Park Hopper ticket option or an annual pass will be allowed to visit more than one park per day after 2 p.m. This was new information that was just released, so things may change. Disney states that you will need a reservation for the first park you visit that day, but for the second park for the park hopper option, you will not need to make an online reservation. But like I said, this might change in the future, so subscribe down below for future updates. Number three on my list is the Fast Pass Plus program has been suspended, and if you have an annual pass, you're not guaranteed access to Disney World. FastPass lets you reserve access to select Walt Disney World theme park attractions, entertainment, and character meet and greets. This service has been suspended to control capacity and maintain social distancing throughout Disney. Also, Disney says annual passes do not guarantee entry and pass holders are required to still make reservations to the online system, something that we're not used to doing in the past. Next up is that everyone under the age of two is required to wear a face mask at all times unless you are actively eating or drinking in a stationary location. You cannot walk around the park, eat and drink, pushing your stroller without a mask on. Someone will stop you and ask you to stand still in an eating location so you can eat or drink. The mask or face covering must be made with at least two layers of breathable material, fit snugly against the side of your face and underneath your chin, and be secured with ties or ear loops and must fully cover your nose and mouth. Quote, at this time, based on our guidance from health authorities, neck gaiters, open chin triangle bandanas, and face coverings containing valves, mesh materials, or holes of any kind will not be acceptable face coverings. End quote. Disney website also reads, costume masks are not considered appropriate and are prohibited from being worn in alignment with our existing rules. Therefore, you cannot use mask coverings as your face coverings. Moving on to number five on the list, which is new because of COVID, and that is the temperature checks. These are no touch temperature checks on your head, so they don't actually touch you with anything, which is nice. As well as park entry, temperature checks will also be conducted at other Walt Disney World locations, including Disney Springs table service restaurants, Disney hotels, and anywhere else you're required to get in for reservations. Anyone with temperatures above 100.4 will undergo additional screening. If you are found to have a temperature above 100.4, entry will be denied and those in your party will not be allowed to enter. So make sure you don't have a temperature before you go to Disney World. Next up, and this one makes me sad, that's parade, fireworks, and Disney meet and greet characters have been suspended. Disney has said this is because they are accommodating physical distancing. Playgrounds may also be closed, dressing rooms inside shops are closed, and Disney Photo Pass photographers will not touch your cell phone camera or tablet or other electric devices. So, like I've said in the past, it's a great way to save money with your Photo Pass by having them use your phone, but they will not touch it due to COVID. So, until this changes, I will let you guys know. Number seven, and obviously standard for COVID, especially with staff members, is that you must stay six feet away from each other. Like other places, Walt Disney World has added the floor markings, signs, and barriers to promote social distancing. Similar measures are also in place on resort transportation, including bus, monorails, and watercraft boats. Disney has also stated that they have increased cleaning of high traffic areas such as elevators, restrooms, and also have placed hand sanitizers in high-end washing locations throughout the parks. Number eight, and it's something you should have already done pre-COVID, but it's an absolute must now, and that is you download the Disney My Experience app check wait times and also mobile food ordering. You can't order food at Windows anymore. You have to order your food through the mobile app and then pick it up. With saying this, the mobile app obviously isn't new, but it's an absolute must during this pandemic with contactless hotel check-ins and mobile food ordering at restaurants. Moving on to the next one on the list, and that is that you need to review and understand the ticket cancellation, the hotel cancellation, modifying your stay and or tickets policies before you go to your Disney trip. 
Obviously things happen, especially in the world with COVID-19 pandemic, but you may need to modify or cancel it. So you make sure you read through all the cancellation policies for your ticket and your hotel. Also their modify and refund policy before you go, just in case you know exactly if you're gonna get a refund, if they're gonna allow you to move it, what your options are before booking your trip. Also something I wanna note is that they're not selling annual passes right now, but they are allowing current pass holders to renew them. There's a lot going on in this world with this pandemic, but I'm hopeful that some of this information will help you if you are planning on coming to Disney World soon. There's a lot changing, there's a lot still changing with the COVID-19 policies at Disney World. So please subscribe down below. I will keep you guys updated. I'm at the parks quite frequently, so I'll be able to give you some information on what's going on over at Disney World during this pandemic. I'll see you guys next time.